Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So thanks very much for joining me today. So as that one shows, this is my Kilo Brachis uh, Giantis, I think that's how you say it. I'm not too 100% sure on that one. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go and rehouse this one here in the video. Just showing obviously the amount of substrate I've put in here. Uh, this species from China uh, needs a bit more humidity, so I'm putting the water dish in, but gluing it in place just purely because this one is a heavy weather. So I just want to keep the dish somewhere I know where it is, so the spider as it grows doesn't move the dish around as some do. So I'm just going to try and see if I can um, get this one in easily. As you can see, I'm getting my uh, catch cup ready. Um, I was going to do my normal method here and um, just allow it to go from this container up and in. You can see the amount of webbing inside absolutely everywhere and the center of the web is attached to the roof. Um, so on this one, it is a fast species and they can be defensive. Um, they do like to, to normally burrow as well if you give them enough substrate, but it needs to be um, moist substrate. So as you can see, I've put well, there, there, there's a tarantula there, but you can see I've put a hole underneath the cork bark for it to use. But I'm just going to try and see if I can catch this one here. And I've had this from a tiny, tiny sling, and I'm definitely becoming one of my favourites as the, the Kilo Brachis genius. They're just, um, they are a bit more of advanced keepers, or if you're not an advanced keeper, but you just do your research and you know what you're doing, you should find that you'll be okay to, to handle these. Obviously when they get a lot larger, they can be a bit of um, a handful, but here you go. So finally caught this one here. And at this stage, um, I think personally they look similar to like a, uh, an OBT, um, an Unsumbaro or even a, um, Golden Blue Leg Baboon, that's what I was after. So even like one of those as well, but I'll just see if we can get this one rehoused straight in. Put a little bit of moss in the enclosure just to add with the humidity. Um, but I've put it in this glass tube just so um, it could be on display because with the webbing as well, I've got another one in the previous video, which is a Fimbriatus as well. And the way they web, it's just beautiful to see the tunnels and the way they go through. So I think at the end of this uh, video, I think it'll be a couple of days apart from after doing this. So we'll just see if there's any webbing done. So we we'll get to that at the end. But just see if I can get this one encouraged to come out. Obviously, I'm dubbing this and speaking over it after I film. So I've got so many things to do. So it's not fully in sync. But um, on this one, I'm taking precautions just purely because it is extremely fast. And I mean like lightning quick. But I'll find out the reason why this one isn't. Um, later on in the video, but just trying to encourage it out there with a cocktail stick because this cube doesn't give me enough room to get in with the tongs that I've got. But as you can see, not very fast, just moving out nice and slow. But there we go, so starting to get to a decent size. So I'll just remove this one here. See if we can get a bit of a close up in a second. See if we can get closer than that. But as you can see, there, OBT sort of coloration. Um, but the abdomen there as well is a little bit darker, which I'll find out why in a second, which I didn't know when I was rehousing this one. Um, but just if anybody has a Kilobrachis species, they, they will understand. They, they're not aggressive, I'd say, but they're more defensive. So if they start, they run fast and they will get in a defensive posture. Um, but I'll put a picture up here of uh, an adult one. So you can see it's got an almost um, different coloration on the, the actual uh, body itself there from now. So. Um, so we can get a bit of a closer look for you and we get this one settled in there we go so that's a good look there so um, still with a gold coloration on it but um, definitely love these species so let's have a look a bit closer there well you can see the webbing from the previous enclosure I had the mold on the inside there so I had to do that so I didn't want to destroy the webbing, so I always get upset when I do so on doing those, but a nice glass enclosure, I can see this. As I say there, four days later, I think you can see, you can see the webbing started, but obviously then it's laid the web in the hole under the cork bark, um, and you can see a malt in there as well. So that's probably the reason why it was a lot slower, because this is not a, a slow species, they will just dart off. So see if I can remove that, but it's done like a tunnel, if you can see there. But the nice colorations and the different colorations on the, the tip of the feet there as well. 
Well, I have tried to have a look at this model after it is just completely destroyed. I cannot sex this one at the minute, but I am not bothered if this is male or female because these species I'm just really interested in keeping as many as I can of these at the minute. But we'll see if we can just quickly grab that mole out of there. And you can see it's done it in a tunnel fashion. But it's sort of different on the channel. I've not really put these ones on. I've had this one for some time to get to this size. But I hope you all found that uh, interesting. And I hope you enjoyed that one there. And uh, thanks very much for watching. And I will see you on the next video.